What is going on for one Commodore last year today? Bring to you guys my live reaction to Jujutsu Kaisen Manga Chapter 133. Now, the chapter has finally come out. Shout out to the Visual Course providing chapters week in and week out because they're doing God's work as they should be. And ladies and gentlemen, the holidays are about to commence, but at least we're going to get ourselves a chapter just before Christmas from Giga Sensei. And I can't wait, man. We had the side chapter last week. You know, uh, Giga, you have to go on break. Uh, take care of some stuff and i know that after this chapter especially we're going to be on that little holiday schedule so chapter break chapter break so 14 days from now we'll get the next chapter after and then go back on break and then come back to a normal schedule but i'm really excited for this one man because after what we saw last chapter like yuji <sighs> the black flash greatness total like the whole it was just so gort bad and just seeing yuji just tell Bahito straight up, after everything you put me through, having to see what happened to Junpei, having to see, especially seeing it in the anime, my god, that, that hit like crazy. Like, just getting to see the final anime was nuts. But seeing what happened to Junpei, what happened to Nanamin, what he did to Nobara, and we know best girl's gonna be okay, but you don't touch this girl, right? You, you don't do that. My guy said, you can die today. You come back, I'll kill you. You want to switch your names, I'll kill you. You want to go under a different govy? I'll kill you. Change form? Okay, it don't matter. All right? Yuji gonna handle him regardless. That's That double spread of Mahito running like almost like a little rabbit as Yuji was like the wolf was nuts. But then that fear synced in my mind the second I saw afterwards with Ghetto or fake Ghetto, I should say, pulling up in front of Mahito. I'm hoping Mahito doesn't go, get taken out right here. I, I, I think it would honestly be better if he does run, escape, come back afterwards, you know, and try to fight Yuji again. But I don't know, man, because if it's going to be like a 2v, well, 2v2, really it's a 2v1 here because Toto having lost his hand doesn't have Boogie Woogie. And it's, it's not, I don't know, man, especially we don't know what happened to Mei Mei and Uyui. But I need to read the chapter to find out and how Giga is going to leave me on another goddamn cliffhanger for sure for the next 14 days. So. Let's get into the chapter, man. All right. 1109. Okay, so we're seeing here with um, the old older uh, Arata and, uh, of course, with Toto. 1109. So that's like what? Because we're, what, near 1130, I think is technically from before? Yeah, because you see right here, he has the hand and stuff. These people, they're alive, right? Yeah, so this is prior to losing uh, his hand. The Shibuya Incident Part 50. And you see all the countless of blood. So this happened, like, of course, like way after uh, Gojo, of course, had been uh, sealed and stuff. So when they first arrived, before hearing what was going on. So he's cold out there. Okay. And you see tracks of blood. And they're, yo! And you see the, the place where, um, the prison realm, <laughs> when Gojo said, nope, you're not taking me. And the barkeep, but the box, of course, is not there. It seems that Suguru Geto has already left with the prison realm. So this is what at the fact. Okay, so then he had, he had to have carried it with him when he went to go fight Mei Mei. Because there's no way he was just going to leave that there for somebody to just go and take it after. More than likely. No. Let's move on. So of course he had to have known because Meito was nearby. This fight's goal has changed from retrieving Satoru Gojo. To saving our allies and willing down the enemy forces. Let's hurry. Knowing brother, he's nearby. <laughs> Yo, he has a brother? I thought he was an only child. We know what he means. Yes, okay, so 11.28, uh, so almost 11.30, yeah. So this is on backtrack. So, of course, the original mission was to go and save Gojo and stuff because the message had to have been uh, um, revealed to the others and stuff. And not to mention, too, because no, because Mechamaru, because no, he had already died prior to relaying the message, but and this was that quickly afterwards he was able to get it back to him because we know that the others uh from his classes and stuff from Kyoto were on the move too. So so we're seeing like all the damage and stuff that's been in Shibuya is this huge meteor rock thing from uh the fight with Jogo it looks to be Kusa Cup Pandas. Okay, thank god. Bro, when that meteor hit, we weren't sure if they had survived or not. Even though there's no way I could saw Gege just waxing panned off like that because that's merchandise man you know how chopper is to one piece panda's gonna be that for jujutsu kaisen you can't take up the mascot like that 
But you see him here, and he's in gorilla form too. But yo, know, Abe Gang, man, let's go. Kusakabe. Oh, found you. <laughs> the dude's just been chilling, him the rubble and everything. He's only got a small mark on him. But yeah, no, nah, because Great One Sorcerer, no way that uh, he could take it out that easily. Panda, that wasn't what was discussed. He just, okay, so let's still, I thought he was doing something else. No, he lifts the rock. I mean, Itadori. No, that was Sukuna. But Itadori has control of the flesh. Isn't that what they said? I'm telling you right now, if Gojo disappears, no matter what punishment Itadori receives, I won't join Itadori's side. I agree that Yuji Itadori should get the death penalty. I don't agree with you, buddy. I don't agree with you, no. You, you, you are going to have that chance and everything, but no. Nah, you can't be disrespecting my boy like that. Because you understand he's the one that has to carry that burden and take care of Sukuna. I'm sorry, man. Nah. Don't care how raw. Don't care if you have that evening shadow. No. You can't be saying some nonsense like that. Because you don't know the burden really he has to handle with. Because he knows that his death is going to be imminent regardless if he gets all the pieces of Sukuna or not. You don't have you don't, you have the luxury that you can actually get to live your life normally and stuff. So he usually doesn't have that anymore. That's gone. The moment he consumed Sukuna, it was long gone. 10.36 p.m. Kuala Lump Malaysia. What the hell? You know what, I'm not going to ask. I'm not going to, you know, I, if I speak, I'm going to be in massive trouble. Because you see, Mei Mei and Nui Ui and they're in Malaysia and they got seven brother and sister time. Sorry you must be tired, Nui Ui. Shall I stay in bed with you all day? Oh my, how shameless. Tee hee hee. Do you not like me that way? No, that's not. Sorry, someone's calling me back. Oh, sis. I don't know, kind of, that's kind of a wild scene to be put in there, but then again, the moment we saw Ui Ui and everything, and yeah, you know what, I don't know, man. The <laughs> family's sick in the head. I think that side chapter we saw, <laughs> a ghost of throwing the 50, the 500 yen coin, and <laughs> running for it, I don't know, man. I think it, 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 that was like the final nail in the coffin, knowing that uh, Mei Mei is, um, she's, not, she's not all there in certain areas in the head, but. Sorry to bother you at night. Oh, it's morning there. Me? Kuala Lumpur. Yes, Uyui's curse technique. We almost got killed. Wait a second. Eleven thirty there. Malaysia's an hour back. She dipped the fight? That's basically what you're saying? Like that's the only thing I'm thinking right now. She dipped from the fight? We almost got killed. You should sell all Japanese stock in Tokyo real estate. I already exchanged yen. Yes, and me. So she just dipped from there. So she had the fight. Or so No way. No, 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 no. And she turned cold for the money. Oh, my God. And never trust a woman that wants money. Never trust a woman who's in it for the money. Oh, that would be annoying. That would be annoying if that's the case. That Gezo just paid her off and it's just like, okay, go ahead. That, no, that would... A negative chain reaction affecting major developed nations may be unavoidable. After all, Japan is the world's third largest economy. I leave the details to you. No, don't thank me. But keep it on, keep it on the inside as usual. Tihi will do business again. Oh, you have me so worried. Maybe she might she might actually be the traitor. Like the true, true traitor of this. Because remember, Gojo had questioned her way back at the Goodwill event. Ah, uh, that would be annoying. If that's how she just dipped after the fact. Yo, what is this chapter right now? Bro. 
I literally turn and I just see Chelsea just chilling by the wall. Mental health at zero. What's wrong, brother? You feel unwell. He still see the dead memories, bro. The altered me bro. False memories is spooky as hell. Yo, and he's just shedding the tears, bro. He's lost it. He's completely lost it. It has a long-term effect. Like, we know that, of course, with Toto, but but to this magnitude, right? Because it's far different, right? Toto, it wasn't... For Toto, it wasn't really just to, like, screw him up and have him in the position right now we're seeing Cho. So this is far different. He realizes his, his brain has been toyed with completely. He realizes this is not his memories. I don't know, man. And it's not even so cool. Bro, I'm telling you, Yushi has something in him, bro. Something different. I have to go. It's like 11 28, so there's a couple uh, minutes at least back. Yushi Tadori, what are you? I have to know. And what am I? I don't know. I don't know. This this is this is too spooky, bro. Here we go. Shall I save you, Mahito? And you just see Yuji from behind running directly towards them. Eleven thirty six. If Mahito gets smoked here, that's gonna be tough. That's going to be tough to accept because I want Yuji to be the one to take him out. Keep him around for the long term. Ah, uh, Keto. Don't take him out here, bro. No, don't. You know, look, man. I know Mahito needs to die, but it has to be by one person's hands. And it's that guy running right now down that hill. Did Mahito say Keto? He's got a Buddhist robe and a scar on his forehead. If he's here, then... Give him back. Give back Gojo Sensei. And you just see old boy pulls in. And you see right there after, but he took just from the behind from the back. So he's there to protect him. So we're, we're okay for now. We so Yuji's prey is still very much intact. In the mid-edo period, people connected catfish and earthquakes, and they spoke of this connection as a mystery. Yeah, some kind of like the thing popping out. They believe that a giant catfish moving underground was the cause of earthquakes. Is that the thing that he summoned against uh against Mei Mei? Is it flickering out? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Yo, he just went. He's like, huh? It's like literally the Mario pipes. Like, just went down this thing, and you see the eyes. It has to be the catfish from underground, bro. He's about to... Oh, my God. We're about to... Yo. No, I don't usually get captured like this, bro. Wait, what? He looked like he had fallen... But hits the ground after. Oh, what just happened? Did you think you'd fallen? Seen from the side, you just suddenly flipped over. The strength of the cursed spirit manipulation lies in the great number of moves at my disposal. I wield multiple cursed spirits of semi grade one and higher, and may simply release more when opponents solve the cursed techniques and overcome them. He has to be. This has to be using Ghetto's techniques because we know the dude was like hosting some some pretty wild stuff from the prequel. Of course, I don't have time to. I don't have to allow time for that. It may simply pile on the attack. So you just see this thing coming in. They're grabbing on the Yuji. Yo, this thing is spooky as hell, man. Pulls him, slams him right down again. Bro, the oh, fake ghetto's different. Last year, during the night parade of 100 demons, 
if the forces hadn't been divided between Shinjuku and Kyoto, he would have won instead of Okotsu. Oh my god. I need him so bad. You can't, yo, you can't talk about him and not bring. No. Okay, okay, I need him. I need Okotsu so badly, bro. Pull up like Ichigo. I need it. I guess you had nothing to do with it. And Yuji, bro, his clothes completely shattered, ripped to shreds. The blood gushing out, man. He's, he, oh, uh, somebody got to come out and help him out, bro. Because, you know, this man different. If this, yo, if this is Kamo himself, the ancestor, nah, man. Like, you expect him to be able to handle what was the most evil source of all time, controlling Ghetto. One of the great four sorcerers in in the world. Like, come on, man. Someone gotta help him, bro. Give him back. Even I'm impressed. Sukuna's vessel is tough. What the hell? Mahito tried to grab him to Ghetto. I knew that, after all, I was born of humans. Did he just take him out? It looks like he's revert. no. Shall we continue? Let us discuss the world to come. That cliffhanger sucks. That cliffhanger sucks, man. Oh my god. Why would you do that? January 3rd, bro? Like, oh my god. Oh. Oh, that's tough. That is tough. Oh, that is tough. Nah, I get to him, man. So he goes and basically seals up Mahito. I don't think Mahito has to be, can't be dead yet. Let me let me look at this again. There is no way. I don't think he's completely gone. Gone. Like, yeah, he tried to go and touch Ghetto. No, I don't think it's complete that he captured him for sure, like sealed him away and stuff. But then again, if he if he was gonna kill him, he would have probably crushed it or something. Show signify something that tells me, yeah, like he's dead. But like, nah, man. Oh, but this dude is so crazy. And it's not even our ghetto. This is get to. Never mind. I, I swear to God, if we don't start the year off with somebody of significant value, I'm not, a cold still has to show up. Look, there's so much that happened in this chapter. I have my worries now with Mei Mei and everything because if she actually just did like that, and like if she's working side by side with this Getzo, then that's going to create some major problems within Jujutsu Kaisen. Like, all you know, the tech high and stuff, all that. Like, TMT is going to have some issues. Because now it's like you've lost Gojo for the time being. You've lost some people in Nanami already. Like, this isn't good at all. And now you have one of your own people possibly going rogue. Doing it from the money and working side by side with the sicko. It's like TMT right now is down bad. Like Yuji's already went, went through his own hell. I'm taking care of Choso, taking care of things with Mahito. But now you're telling me he's got to take care of a Ghetto possibly possessed by Kamo. <laughs> the number one evil sorcerer of all time. 
on his own because we don't have Boogie Woogie. If Boogie Woogie was here, gone. Gone. We're going to Malaysia too. Like, he take I guess Boogie Woogie, we're gone. But that's not going to be the case. So, I don't know, man. This is not going to be easy to escape right here. Like, especially if Gojo's still in that little prison realm in possession of Kezo. There's no way they're getting out of this unless somebody intervenes. So, yeah, you're going to need, like, Okotsu. If Miguel's with them, that would be dope as well. And it gives us a little bit of a dynamic, too, and stuff to see more of how Miguel would react to seeing what had happened to Ghetto because he has to be aware as well, you know, of Ghetto's demise and stuff in the prequel. But, man, that was crazy. That's crazy, man. Like, any of the Kusakabe stuff, it's like, I understand where you're coming from and stuff, but it's like, you don't, you don't really have, like, the luxury. Like, you have the luxury to be able to do what you please and stuff. Yuji doesn't have that. That's right. He has to complete this mission to gain everything of Sukuna, and then he has to die. So, I don't know. That's tough for me to accept on him, but the Mei Mei stuff after in this chapter, now it's like I, I worry because if she's working side by side with, like, the villains, it's like, with Getsu and then possibly somebody else, you know, because I feel like there's probably going to be more antagonists after this arc. There's no way there couldn't be, but yeah, I really need to think about this chapter and like ponder what scenarios could happen from here. But let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel about the events that just transpired here. I am firmly believing though that Mahito's not dead. There's no way. He had to have sealed him up or something. If you're going to signify his death, you would have crushed that little orb thing and just tell me afterwards that he's dead. So I don't firmly believe whatsoever that he's dead. It would just be... Nah. Like, Yuji's look right now is look like, oh, damn, like, this dude is different from what I just experienced from, <laughs> from Mahito. But, again, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Anything I might have missed or something you want to bring up that you thought was interesting, let me know down in the comments. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here. If you want to be part of the weekly experience when it comes to my coverage of Jujutsu Kaisen week in, week out, subscribe if you haven't already. Click on the bell of Shandor to stay day with everything that goes on the channel. Again, Fridays with the anime, Sunday with the manga. If you want to be a part of the journey, subscribe if you haven't already. Click on the bell, Sandora. With that being said, I will catch you guys in the next one. If I don't see you guys afterwards, you know, past the anime for Kaisen. I hope you guys have a great Christmas, New Year's. We start the new year off. More sales for Gege. More, more exposure for Kaisen, as it should. Commodore last signing off. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, take care. Going crazy. Yeah, we go